Hello, welcome all. In this video, we'll see how to work with MongoDB database from Jaspersoft. So, firstly, uh, we'll check how to create a collection in Mongo database. Then we'll check how to establish a connection from Tipco Jaspersoft Studio and Tipco Jasper Server. And then we'll try to publish the report to Jasper Server and then run the report from the Jasper Server. Okay, so first let's go to uh, MongoDB console. So this is a, a MongoDB console over here. Uh, so firstly, we'll just try to create a collection that is a table. So collection is nothing but a table, which we what we call in um, relational database. In Mongo database, records are stored as key and value pair. So firstly, we'll just connect to database. We'll just create one more collection. For example, db dot create collection, and we'll give the name of the collection as store so we'll have all the store details here and then just enter okay so it has given the success message as okay so that means we have created the collection now if we do as show collections so we have two um, collection that is address and store now we'll what we'll do is we just import some data and now we'll use the command mongo import Okay, so it says imported 15 documents. When you click on data adapters and create data adapter, you'll see there is an option of MongoDB connection. So what this is, is this connection is known as a native connection. And I'll just explain in short like what is native connection and what is um, JDBC connection. So, uh, so this is called as native connection. And if you go to database JDBC connection and click on next, and if you choose here, you'll have we can see that there's one more MongoDB connection here that is from Tipco drivers. So MongoDB Tipco JasperSoft. We can go to a JDBC connection, click on next and choose from here MongoDB. Here you go, okay, so here is a MongoDB. So here you can just enter the local host or the MongoDB um, host value and the DB port. And then if username and password, you have you, uh, it's being set, then you can uh, just enter that and click on finish. The other way of creating a database connection is again if you click on right click create data adapter is mongodb connection so when you click this it again asks for a host name and the db name and username password if um, there you or else you can leave it as blank so what is the difference so mongodb data native connection is where you can write a mongodb query like a json type query and mongodb jdbc connection is where you can uh, uh, use a relational uh, way of querying that is select all from the table name and all. So we'll check both the ways. So for e easiness, I have just created a MongoDB connection. So one is a native connection, which has the host name and the port number and database name. And uh, one is MongoDB JDBC connection, which again has the host name So I have this two JRXML file. One is MongoDB, JDBC, and native connections. So first we'll check um, on the native connection. So native connection, uh, once you go to the database, uh, data set and query dialog, um, you can choose MongoDB native connection from the here, it's data adapter. And then you have to choose the language. So language would be, you'll have a special option here that is mongodb query and uh, name of the collection so our case it's store and then just click on read fields okay so we got this address 
will make little bit um, more interesting with uh, we'll find some uh, store ID which is greater than five and also we'll try to do a sorting uh, in MongoDB query so I have this query here collection name store we'll use find query um, and store ID which is greater than five and also we'll do a sort on store ID that is um, we are giving as one one means ascending and if you want it descending then you can give as minus one and um, I'll just click on OK and store ID which is greater than five and whatever uh, store is being stored uh, shown as is, is an all in ascending order so now what we'll do is we'll just publish this report uh, on Jasper servers okay so this has been published to Jasper server. now coming to MongoDB uh, Mongo JDBC so JDBC um, it's same as it's uh, same as normally we work on the JDBC relational database so for example in the data set and query I'll choose MongoDB JDBC so instead of um, JasperSoft we'll use some other database that is test for example we use sales so we'll just write a query select all from sales and uh, click on read fields okay and data preview okay so i'll put some condition where store underscore state equal to c Okay, and uh, I'll go to the field section. So, for example, I have this field field, first few fields over here. Okay, and click on preview. Okay, so we have all the values which where it satisfies the condition where store state um, equal to CI. So again, we'll just publish this one as well to Jasper server. And okay, both of this has been published to Jasper server and now we'll go to uh, Jasper server. And now we'll create an um, data source over here so we'll go to create data source and from here you can see that there are two options mongodb data source and mongodb jdbc data source so mongodb data source is what we have as a uh, native connection so we'll have this IP and database for example what we have is just a soft and username and password and we can click on text connection to see if there is a connection established so it says connection passed and now we'll save this one and we'll save this mongo native and uh, we'll save somewhere in data source then we'll create one more for JDBC. So create data source. And from here, we'll choose MongoDB JDBC data source. And again, we'll provide a host name. And uh, database name. Username, password. And it says that auto generate schema definition. So, what does it do is like it will, so whatever collection is in MongoDB, it will convert that into a JDBC relational one and, um, and build its own schema. So, we don't have to um, separately build a schema. So, if you want to separately build a schema according to your options, so you can do that uh, with some third party tool and 
and just upload over here from you just remove this and then you can upload from here repository file location so um, so far as of now we'll just do an auto generate schema definition and we just say test okay this connection is passed and we say as mongodb jdbc data source and uh, okay, so we have this two data source now what i'll do is go to reports and attach the data source go to native report click on edit data source select from the repository data source and now go native and submit same will do for mongo jdbc edit data source repository choose from the repository and click on submit okay so now we'll run the first report that is native one okay so it's the same report what we have seen in jaspersoft studio and coming back to jdbc one Okay, so this is the one which is uh, from the test database and it has all the store state which is CA. So, so we have um, a reference uh, where you can just check on the MongoDB syntax or the MongoDB query how to query uh, through a native uh, using native query. So for example, this is the it gives the information on how to use find query, find field, sort. Uh, it has also option for map reduce and, um, uh, and some examples uh, which you can refer and use in your in your Jasper server report. So, uh, and also it has, if you scroll down, you can also refer to some useful links from here, uh, which give you more information on how to work with MongoDB. So that's it. Thanks for your watching this video. Thank you.